Hi, everyone, whoever has joined us to watch this um, video about the four sister NGOs, Birthright Armenia, AVC, Repat Armenia, and Hike Armenia. In fact, many know, but many do not know, we um, function under the same foundation, Hovnanyan Foundation. And um, we came together, the four communications coordinators of uh, these NGOs, to introduce our programs and to basically talk about volunteering, repatriation, and all the opportunities you can have in Armenia. Um, so maybe we can go one by one and introduce our programs and what we offer. Maybe I can start. So <laughs> ours is Birthright Armenia. Um, Birthright Armenia offers volunteering and internship opportunities to Armenians um, of age from 21 till 32 who live abroad. And um, basically, except for volunteering, our participants also uh, take Armenian language classes, go on excursions all over Armenia, stay with uh, host families, and much more. So yeah, very, very briefly about Birchite Armenia. So in the same office, we have AVC, Armenian Volunteer Corps, and we have Mary from AVC here. So Mary, go on. <laughs> So um, AVC is pretty much the same uh, organization as Birthright Armenia, but the only difference is that we uh, bring in people, Armenian diasporans who are age 32 plus. And one interesting thing is that we do not have an age limit. So you can be up to, for example, 90 years old and you can still volunteer at AVC and we'll take you in with open arms. That's completely okay. And mm -hmm. if you are not an Armenian, you're still welcome as long as you're 21 plus of years. So it does not matter if you have, if you are ethnically Armenian, if uh, you do not have any Armenian roots, as long as you're 21 and above, you can still uh, join ABC. Yeah, perfect. And many of our program participants, basically both AVC and uh, Birchright Armenia, decide to stay in Armenia and live in Armenia. And that's why we have Repat Armenia as a, another sister organization, which, what do you do? Ishkan, Ishkan our <laughs> coordinator from Repat, will basically introduce Repat Armenia and how you will support anyone who decided to live in Armenia. Hello, everybody. My name is Ishkan. Uh, I'm representing Repat Armenia. So we help Repats and expats with uh, moving to Armenia and integration into Armenia. So moving to another country is really a difficult process. So uh, and uh, you can face uh, to a lot of uh, different questions and uh, problems. So uh, we kind of uh, help in, uh, in, in a different ways. It's important to say that we are not just one program. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things uh, how you can uh, interact with us. To be very brief, I will tell you that uh, we are doing online and offline, offline consultations. So you can write to us, you can call us in any questions like how to get a citizenship, uh, uh, where to study in Armenia and uh, other questions. So we are also can uh, help you with the unemployment. Uh, we are organizing networking events. Uh, we have membership card uh, and uh, other uh, things. So I think uh, a little bit later I will uh, present uh, it uh, like mm -hmm. in, in details. Yeah. The details. Yeah. And we also have Patil Tutunjan here with us. <laughs> <laughs> already but they don't know Patil works at Hike Armenia so go ahead sure um so I this is a great segue because after you volunteer you repatriate you you go to work you want to go on a hike in the nature so um yes yeah, so I'm Patil Tutunjan um and I'm representing Hike Armenia today basically um since we're all sister organizations so I can say our founder um she's actually um Edil Hovnanya she's she loves hiking and she really saw the 
health benefit and and uh, all the benefits that come with going on a hike in the nature um and also ex ecotourism so like exploring not just the capital city but going outside and exploring the entire country so with that came hike armenia so the mission of hike armenia is to make armenia a premier hiking destination uh there's a lot of people who travel for hiking and travel to go on hikes and, and discover cities and different countries through the hiking adventures so um this organization came about and uh, what we do specifically is um, finding the trails, creating the trails, maintaining the trails. And we have an app that has uh, over 60 trails currently all over Armenia that um, you just download the app and you pick the difficulty, the region you want to go on, and you basically plan your own trip after having maybe a long week, or if you just want to go on a hike every day, why not? You go there. And the great thing about the app and the website that we have, it doesn't just kind of take you to the trail, but it, it's an experience as an inter, in, entire experience, I guess. So um, what it does is it shows you um, the how to get there. And it, there's the resources of accommodations in the area that you're going, because what if you want to stay there for a few nights? And um, if you want a guided hike, there's we kind of recommend a few different local guides in that for that trail um, that you can connect with directly. So you can do all of this at your convenience. So it's not there's no um, tours planned or anything like that. It's just a resource that is available for um, everyone to just go on a hike and discover. Perfect. Hike Armenia is actually doing an amazing job. And I think it's one of the very few um, such initiatives in Armenia. And we know that um, I have to brag here, our volunteers are also helping a lot Hike Armenia because Hike Armenia itself, aside from being a sister organization, is also a volunteer placement site where many of our volunteers um, like go to do their internships or volunteering. Um, different, they can help in different ways, right? Like um, research, administrative work, project coordination, partnerships, even marketing and social media, etc. So, yeah, and yeah, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, actually, the way I found out, so one more thing that maybe people don't know about me, I'm also a Birthright Armenia alum who now lives in Armenia, and that's how I found out about Hike Armenia. For me, it was, um, obviously, there's a lot of excursions, there's weekly excursions that happen with Birthright Armenia and AVC, uh, where at, on the weekends, you kind you go on these excursions, and again, it's a different way of integrating into into Armenia and actually getting a sense of the day-to-day -day life and interacting with locals and having food at, at you know, people's, at host families and stuff. So um, after you do that, and if you decide to stay here for a long term, I volunteered for about four months and then I already got a job in Armenia and stayed here. There, um, you start wanting to maybe you not wanting to create your own circle of friends but you naturally do that and you meet people in your workplace and and whatnot so you start looking for different things to do um on your weekends and that's how we found out about uh, i had a group of friends i mean hopefully i still have friends but there were people that <laughs> we used to go on hikes um with over the weekends and that's how i said what is this app and like do we need to book it or do they have an event or do they have an excursion and they're like no you just download the app and you choose what you want to do and you choose the difficulty because sometimes you want to go on a serious hike and sometimes you want to go on a hike but stroll on the way and and have a picnic which we've done uh we went to Dilijan when we packed the bag with some good delicious food and we just went on a hike and we enjoyed our day and it's a way for you on the way you meet other hikers and you meet other um people in the community and sometimes you actually run into other birthright armenia volunteers who are there also hiking so it just turns into this whole it, it's a community and i see like these four organizations as kind of like for me personally as a gateway to my armenia experience and it started with birthright armenia now it's hike armenia we'll see <laughs> what's next yeah so naturally you're also repat so repat armenia as well exactly <laughs> hiking is indeed a nice uh networking platform if we can say so but Patil what other job sites did you have where did you volunteer while you were uh, like a birthright participant that's actually a very interesting question because um one kind of advice I will give um people who are thinking of applying to whether uh AVC or birthright Armenia is that kind of be open-minded and don't limit yourself because you might have different 
different intentions of why you want to come volunteering. If it's to gain uh, professional experience and you're just starting your career, it would be a great opportunity to volunteer at a job site that fits within your, um, I guess, field. For me, mm -hmm. it was after I kind of had, I was kind of done with my career in that sense, in that corporate kind of marketing. I was doing a lot of marketing for five years in a corporate world. So I wanted to see how I, I am in teaching. So I kind of took a took a teaching route and, and actually volunteered at four different schools. Uh, one of them being I, I School, which is a very, very high like level elevated school experience that if you go to IVE school, you're, it's kind of like a college experience in a sense. So I got to volunteer there. And then after doing it for a couple of months, I kind of missed marketing. I'm not going to lie. So the job site team was very, very flexible in kind of talking to me about it and, and placing me at an agency, a marketing agency, which gave me the opportunity to work at with brands that are very premier in Armenia, like the I would be walking on the streets now and the day-to-day -day brands that I use, which it was always my dream to be in the consumer packaged goods um, marketing agency side, but it's hard to do these things in, cause I'm from Canada or I was living in Canada at the time I'm from Syria, but um, during that time it's, it was hard to get into these places. So um, I was talking to another alumni, Alin Demirjan over the weekend and she said it perfectly. Armenia is the place to, achieve, uh, innovate and achieve new goals that maybe you've had and you just never knew how to get to it. And that's mm -hmm. how, so I've, I've volunteered in like five different job sites overall. Yeah, perfect. So obviously, um, Birchite is trying to be flexible to support those who are um, trying to, uh, you know, step into new fields, try some new things, as well as um, it supports people who are just starting their career. So it's a nice, you know, opportunity to shadow, to um, help the ongoing projects. And that's how, that's how you're getting involved into the program, into the sphere more and more. And that's how you have the opportunity to practice your skills. But aside from those who are just starting their career, they are trying different things. We also have volunteers who are more mature and more experienced. And we usually direct them towards ABC because as Mary said, ABC is for um, Armenians 32 plus and non-Armenians as well, of course. But maybe ABC, maybe since this year, we know that ABC is focused on uh, targeting seniors and more mature and experienced professionals. Um, maybe Mary can talk about, um, you know, this, uh, group of people who are you know more experienced and more mature what opportunities we have for them what uh, can we tell them so um for seniors our senior program has uh launched in the past year i think uh despite having like uh regularly uh willing to accept volunteers who are older and everything but it just officially got launched in the past few uh months and our goal is to bring in volunteers who are uh, 50 plus or retired or who have already had this amazing big career and now they're just at home, retired with nothing to do, but they still want to do more. So for example, currently we have uh, Isabel who's volunteering with us for the seventh time now. She's 67 years old. She's a psychoanalyst from Belgium and she says that she still wants to come. She will be volunteering again and again and again as much as she can. So for those people, so people usually think, you know what, volunteering is for the youth as a way to kickstart your career, as a way to kickstart your experience, to experience something new. But there's the other side of it as well. There's the side of the people who have done so many things and now they have so much experience and so much knowledge to give back to others. So we are accepting those people. We want those people to come into Armenia and to do something here with ABC, Birthright Hike and Repat so that we can make all of that useful. Yeah, very nice. And 
Um, actually, recently, I am receiving a lot of inqu inquiries about volunteering opportunities in the environmental field. So that's why we're um, actually working on some content, spoiler alert, <laughs> for our website, for uh, social media, about the opportunities in this field specifically. And um, just as a small addition to what Mary said, we also have non-Armenian uh, volunteers coming through AVC. And I remembered Philomen, she was from France and she volunteered in the sphere of uh, you know, environment and she helped with recycling. And um, this type of opportunities are actually all over Armenia, not, not just in Yerevan, again, for both AVC and Birchite Armenia. So we are reopening our Vanador program again together with ABC. So there are plenty of um, opportunities there as well. And um, maybe I can ask Patil right now, what kind of opportunities uh, can we offer to those who would want to volunteer with um, uh, Hike Armenia? So right now, for example, last uh, two weeks ago, I think it was, we went with the Birth Art Armenia and AVC volunteers to uh, Lori and we actually did um, a trail maintenance. So it's a lot of out in the nature work uh, when volunteers come with us and we, it was, uh, again, it was clean up. It was uh, repainting and retouching the trail markings, which is a big part of the trail, you know, obviously the directions to know where to go. Um, as well as uh, kind of clearing up the trail. So there was a lot of uh, uh, physical work involved in. Yeah, so they came with us and it was an amazing day because you're not just working, but it's a great bonding experience. And um, we take a minute to enjoy the view and, and, and you know have lunch in historical sites up on the mountain. So it was amazing. And I think we're doing another one in May. Um, other than that, more on the kind of the day-to-day -day, um, side, I know I work with one volunteer for translation. I work with vol vo one volunteer who's a graphic designer. Um, if you guys check out our website, <laughs> it's, it has a lot of cool visuals. So um, there's a lot of elements that go into putting all of this together. And um, obviously we can't do it um, with, um, unless we're all doing it together, so. Yeah, perfect. And um, of course, our volunteers, they are placed at different organizations, but they help us as well. So they volunteer with APC, we have the photographer, we have translators, we are um, getting ready to welcome someone to help us in um, marketing. And maybe another question to Ishan, because Repat Armenia is a totally different field. Um, do you think you have any volunteering opportunities for those who might want to um, work with diaspora? And by the way, answering this question, we can also transition to the other topic because um, three out of four of us <laughs> are repats, except for me, <laughs> I'm a local. And um, repatriation is a big, big, big um, topic, um, you know, among, you know, these uh, four organizations. And Ishan is a repat as well, and he's a blogger as well. So maybe Ishan, you can tell a little about volunteering opportunities with repat, if there are such, and uh, about your experience as a repat coming to Armenia. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, uh, yes, we have uh, some volunteering opportunities. By the way, right now we have a volunteer from uh, Canada, Lori from Birthright Armenia. So she's helping us to create a new website. So yeah, 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 yeah. soon we will have the new version of it. And uh, we always have uh, different opportunities. Uh, right now we are uh, like completely changing our social media. So uh, right now we need volunteers in that. But maybe in the future, uh, we will have different opportunities. So follow our pages and uh, like stay tuned. We will announce if we need some other positions. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I repatriated to Armenia 10 years ago from St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, and um, I was working as a tour guide for four years. So uh, I like um, uh, I, I know about Hike Armenia and I've always recommended it to my tourists. Um, and I recommend it to our, uh, our uh, guests who are watching us. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, right now I'm working uh, in Repat Armenia. I can like tell you briefly what we do if I have time for now or maybe in the future. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Repat offers and how how would yeah. it help you as a Repat who just came to Armenia? Um, uh, when I came to Armenia, uh, unfortunately, I didn't know about birthright Armenia, about Repat Armenia, so I kind of... Uh, uh, got all the information by myself, by my friends, but it was very difficult. So if I would know about Repat Armenia, about Girls' Right, so it, uh, I, 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 like would like uh, it. It would be more easy if, uh, for me. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, what exactly we do? As I said, uh, we are helping uh, with the integration into Armenia and repatriation and moving to Armenia is a really difficult process. So you need to uh, get to know a lot of things like uh, where to live, what bank should you use, uh, where, uh, how to get a citizenship, how, we, how to get a, uh, a residency, etc. So uh, yeah, we are kind of uh, helping in all this issue, in all these uh, questions. Uh, so, as I said, uh, everybody can write to us or to our, uh, to our so social pages or, to, or come to our office. We are working every working day uh, from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, and get consultations uh, from our case manager. Uh, so, we, uh, I want to mention that we help uh, Ar Armenians and non-Armenians, so repats and expats, uh, so it doesn't matter uh, where you're from, you can come to us or write to us and we, we will try to help you. Uh, also, we can uh, help you with the, uh, to get a job. So uh, we, uh, now we are partners with 818 HR Consulting. So together we will try to find you a job. Uh, also, we are doing different events uh, like uh, networking events uh, where people are gathering and get to know each other. So if you, can, if you come to Armenia and you need some, I don't know, friends, uh, some business partners, you can uh, follow our pages and come to our events. Also, we have uh, events uh, when people can uh, get job interviews. Uh, can uh, know about interesting projects about Armenia. Uh, we have a membership card. It's, uh, it's a card, it's a digital card uh, on, uh, in one application for smartphones. So it gives you different discounts, different coupons to, uh, on uh, other businesses like medical centers, restaurants, cafes, so you can use it. And by the way, there are a lot of businesses of repats and expats. So you can also support uh, them. Uh, we have a medical insurance. Uh, we have a big Facebook group, Armenian Repatriates Network, where people can ask any questions from, uh, uh, like, uh, and our community will answer. Mm -hmm. uh, we and now, oh, by the way, I, I want to tell you that we are doing Armenia's Armenia Works for You program. So yesterday we uh, met our 16th a participant from the airport so uh, her name was Ani and she's from Moscow and uh, she's uh, she, she worked in uh, PR of one of the biggest theaters in Moscow so now she came in Armenia and she uh, wants uh, she wants to integrate into life in, uh, in Armenia so we are helping her uh, with that uh, we have on this program we have 40 participants so uh, 20 of them uh, are, are already here and 20 are, uh, are coming in uh, like soon. So yeah, this is really briefly about our uh, activities. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can follow our pages, uh, check our website. By the way, we will have a new version of the website soon. We have a lot of information like pr practical tips, uh, motivational articles and a lot of other things. So, yeah, that's Perfect. Uh, actually, all four NGOs have their 
websites and social media pages. We are trying to keep them very, very active and very responsive. So at any time, if any of our viewers has questions, I would like to encourage every one of you to get in touch with us, to inquire information. If you want, you can um, ask to schedule a call with us. We would be happy to chat and to answer your questions about the volunteering opportunities, about, about moving to Armenia, repatriation, and of course, uh, program specific questions if you have any. And um, I think just to conclude, um, the four programs are like the perfect loop of how you can come integrate and stay in Armenia. So you first come as a volunteer with Birthright or ABC, depending uh, on, um, you know, your age, your background and your ethnicity. Um, and then once you are already in Armenia as a volunteer, you have explored Armenia a little, you have the network. <laughs> yeah, like just like that, you are. Um, you know, you have the experience of working at different organizations, companies, you know what you want, where you want to, um, uh, to continue your career in Armenia, you are going directly to Repat Armenia and Repat is helping you with all the logistics and documentation, moving, citizenship, everything that you need to stay and live in Armenia. And of course, from time to time, you're visiting Hike Armenia and actively participating in their events, downloading the application <laughs> and <laughs> having fun with Hike Armenia, basically. So uh, we will, of course, leave all the useful links in the description of this video. So click on these links. Um, as I said, inquire information, contact us. Um, and I think this is all. If you guys have any other concluding remarks, we can um, go ahead and then conclude after that. I'll just share a quick highlight from my end. Uh, I was uh, in Gimri visiting one of the current volunteers who's volunteering that there and someone, uh, not someone, but a lot of people asked me if, uh, if you don't speak Armenian, can you still volunteer in Armenia? And that was a great example of someone who's making a lot of impact in Gimri uh, without even knowing Armenian and she's learning as she goes. And on my way back from Gimri, I ran into an alumni who was in Gyumri, spending their weekend in Gyumri, coming to Armenia. And to my surprise, on Monday, I see that same alumni in the Hike Armenia Information Center oh, in Yerevan that was about to go on a hike. So it, it just, it's so cool how these organizations kind of form a community and you never feel alone when, when you're here doing these things. Yeah, this world is so small and especially when you live in Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you all, guys. Um, and this is all we had for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.